Oh, Struth, mate, me symbol's got a done crack in it, eh? Actually, she's got three done cracks in it, mate. This this Sabian's gone. What do you do, mate? What do you do when your symbol cracks? Well, a, a bit of lame news is that it, it's cracked and that's the end of it. You know, it's never gonna be the same again. Speaking to some symbol smiths, they tell me that there's like tension in the metal around the outside, you know, like, it's not beyond saving, mate, but she's never gonna be the same. Uh, so there's a handful of options. I mean, the first one is just to keep going until it doesn't sound good anymore. Very, very fun option, actually. Uh, number two is to cut it out. Mate, I've already done a video about these glorious freaks. That's what a successful repair looks like. You gotta chop out a lot of material to make sure the crack doesn't come back. I've tried to quickly fix cracks. They just return immediately. A good symbol, that one. But nah, mate. What if you wanted to handle this the dad way? It's just metal. What do you do when metal cracks? You weld it. To do. Oh, I can't look at it. Ew, look at the color of it. Ew, it's like it's deceased. That ain't right, mate. And I I know what this symbol is, right? Mate, even if I couldn't see the stamp, I know that hammering mark anywhere. These are Z customs, mate. The successor to the original Zs. Arguably some of the worst symbols ever made out of B20 bronze. Uh, 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 and I know this guy ain't looking too good because I've got a decent one. Oh uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, who? Who well, is something wrong with you? Cause this is what it's meant to look like. Oh, reading the codes, mate. That's a 2005. That one's a, oh, it's an 01. I know already. I was never a big fan of the Z Customs. They're too thick and heavy, mate. I'm a jazz dude. And most symbols are too thick and heavy anyway. No wonder why most drummers play too loud. Funny enough, in my hunt for getting a set of these, cause I always wanted a set to see what they were like, nearly all the crash symbols we're cracked. This is so normal. I mean, not the not the welding bit. It's not normal. Four epic cracks, and just like all the other ones that I've found, they crack in the center, not at the edge or like at the bell hole leading outwards. I think it's because they're on the thick side. They can't wobble their energy out as easily, and they're just more susceptible to cracks like that. Oh man, look, look, it's just more cracks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, flipping around, mate, you can just see how much heat went into this. And yes, the hammering does look super awesome. The Zeds were the first ever computer hammered symbols. A, a lot of symbol makers like are cautious when they, they're shining up the symbols and polishing them, like these B8 Pros here from the 90s. They're wary of putting too much heat into the symbol because it will affect the sound. Any people who think welding a symbol is a good idea, like, look at the stress that this thing's taken. But hey, mate, if you got this many cracks in a Z custom crash, it's gone anyway. You might as well have a go. And that means, mate, we gotta have a go. I wanna hear this thing, especially <laughs> against like the original one. Like, how much of its character did it lose? And I gotta compare it to something fair, mate. This is from 1997. Like, lovely, dark, thin crash. 19 inch, mate, the match to the others. You know, on the thinner, darker side. But just as a bit of a reference, mate, let's go and let's have a smell. It literally sounds deceased. It sounds like all of its life force has exited its body. There's nothing left in it. It might as well just be a big piece of wood. <laughs> I, I secretly love it because it's so terrible. I mean, yeah, like huge difference between these, hey, like, and uh, I'm just not huge on the Z Customs. I guess I just don't hit hard enough, mate. I use thin sticks, that whole shebang. They can just be a bit clangy, you know? If I wanted a bright sounding Zildjian, I'd get like a 20 inch A Custom crash or something. Or, you know, just this, oh, lovely, dark, thin, from back in the 90s, mate. And mate, to sell the option of literally doing nothing at all, sus this Piesty 20 Custom Metal Crash with like a cartoonish, like, cookie monster bite taken out of it. Nothing done to it. No preservation. Have a listen.
Well, sometimes, mate, the best thing you can do is nothing at all. I mean, it helps that it's just an epic symbol and it's just absolutely lovely and was hugely expensive before the Cookie Monster event. Uh, but, you know, to this day, it still sounds good. Or you let the record be known, mate, that yes, you can weld. <laughs> this is a really old K Zildjian, mate, like, you know, proper heirloom. And, mate, she's done spider cracked out. Why oh, you still see the signature. But, yeah, like, nearly all these cracks have come back. So, <laughs> there are special welding techniques that can help. It, you know, no guarantees on being permanent, though. Well, look, mate, when it comes to broken busted symbols, if it sounds good, just keep hitting it. And there's so many used symbols on the planet, mate, you can find another disc in no time. Look forward to hitting this again. For and I foresee a future in you in my drum stream. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs>